Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. Today we are going to talk about all the lovely secrets that you can fish up in this game. So the first secret we're going to talk about here is the boat painting. Now this can only be acquired if you have the beach farm. If you don't have the beach farm you can't actually get this one. So that's why I'm going to kick off the video with this one because it's the only one that's, that's missable. The rest of the secrets you can get no problem regardless of what kind of a farm that you have. Now these paintings are really cool, they're all very, you know, very detailed and quite unique and they make for great aesthetic to put into a house. So I'm just going to put it up here now inside my small little house and as you can see it just totally transforms the room. <laughs> Absolutely magnificent painting. The next one we're going to talk about isn't a painting, it's actually a trash can, it's a decorative trash can. And your fish just went out from the, um, you know, from the, the well here. And I was going to give it to Linus because he doesn't have any trash can and he root, he roots around everyone else's trash can. So maybe this will uh, this will stop him from, you know, going into Gus and trying to root food out of the trash can. <laughs> Next one is the foliage print painting. Now, this one is actually, um, it's, 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 it's one of those things where you'd never notice it. I only notice this one from looking at online videos. But if you start at uh, Professor Snell's place, make your way down and go right over to the left here, there's a little secret room. Um, if your fishing bar is high enough, you can actually fish this one up from the from the river there. That's the foliage print painting. And we're going to hang that one up as well to make our little our little house look nicer. <laughs> we need all the motivation we can get to do up this farm. I might take away the bookshelf there because it is uh, it's blocking the loveliness of that print. And that is two paintings we have for the house. The next one oh, that you can fish up is the frog hats. When you when you build the house on Ginger Island, this cave will also unlock. And you can actually fish the hat out of, out of the water here. Now, when I fished up the hat, it actually went in the opposite direction, so I had to plant some iridium bands for the magnetism to get. So as you can see there, it just kind of popped up there, uh, but I didn't get it. So I just had to go back out, plant some iridium bands, and I was able to get it then, no problem. And it's a really cool frog hat. And I'll actually put that on myself now. There we go, I'm styling. The next one is the Gorman statue. You know, I think you can catch as many of these as you want, but it can be fairly rare to pick up. Just go into the Pirate's Cove. Now, to get into the Pirate's Cove, you have to unlock the uh, the beach on Ginger Island, and you can get in here, then you can fish that up. And it makes for a great aesthetic. That can be placed inside or outside um, of your house. You can place that wherever you want. We'll place it here for the moment. There we go. Please ignore the, the state of my Ginger Island farm. <laughs> it has been neglected. But we'll upgrade it soon. We'll make it look nice. The next one is a squirrel figurine. So to get this one, instead of going into the actual volcano, you know, dungeons, take a sharp left at the start. Make your way over here to this to this little bank. And if you if you fish up around this spot, you should you should pull the squirrel figurine out in a couple of attempts. And the squirrel figurine is another decoration that you can put inside or outside your house. You can, you can put it wherever you want, and it's it's a nice decoration, it's really cool. It adds a nice aesthetic to the farm as well. Now, you probably noticed that I take seafoam pudding regardless of where I fish these things up. You know, some of the secrets require um, a huge fishing skill so you can actually reach the desired place. This one is the Physics 101. Uh, it's a picture you can hang up inside your house. This one took ages to fish out. It must have taken about 20 minutes of fishing. As you can see there from all the trash that I've accumulated in my inventory, it took quite a number of attempts to get this. It's very rare. But it, it was well worth it because it's a really cool looking, uh, I don't know if it's a printer or a painting, but you can hang it up inside your house and it looks awesome. Let's hang this one up inside our house. Uh, as we can see, our house is looking really damn good now at the moment. We've got the boat, the boat painting, we've got the psychic one, we have the foliage painting set up there now at the moment. Next one is the Iridium Crobus. Now you need you, you need some, a very high fishing skill to actually get this one for your line to reach out to the waters here. Um, but if you do reach out to the waters here, just down from the source, you will fish up the lovely Iridium Crobus. It's one of the coolest statues in my opinion in the game. And you can place this guy wherever you want. Now you're going to get one Iridium Crobus. So make sure you look after it. The next one is the lifesaver, and I mean, of all the times I've been in this room, it never actually dawned on me to fish in the waters here. 
But if you fish in this room, just the back of Willy's, you'll get access to this room once you complete the community center. You can actually fish up a lifesaver, and <laughs> you can hang it up inside your house. Uh, so it's not a really cool aesthetic to have. Let's bring this one back to the house and hang it up. See what it looks like. So we'd probably put it over there to the right, so we're running out of space, but I think I can take the windows down if I want to put up more, more prints or paintings. But that's the lifesaver, so it's not a really cool item that you can get your hands on. So the next item we're going to talk about is another rare item, and you get it here from the very south of the desert. And you might need a high fishing skill so you can reach this pool. Uh, but what you're going to pull out of here now is another really cool, um, another really cool kind of painting. It's the pyramid uh, decal, and you can also hang this one up inside the house as well. It's another really cool item. Now it doesn't actually fit at the moment, so I think I'm going to have to take down one or two of those windows. And I didn't actually know you could take down your windows, so there you go, there, there's a nice tip for you, you can actually take the windows down if you want to put some stuff up in your house. <laughs> if only it was that easy in real life to take down windows. Next one is the Vista painting, and I actually got this one on my very first go. So you just go up here into the mountains, just outside the beach house, and you can fish that one up from a tiny little pool. Um, I think you can also get some sort of a necklace there as well at activate a quest. So, I don't know where I'm going to put this one, I'm going to have to improvise a bit. Even if I take the window down, it's it's not really going to work out. So we're going to have to use Robin's lovely tool set and upgrade the house to a bigger house. Voila, here we go. <laughs> we have a bigger house. And we have all the lovely paintings up. So it does look quite nice. Now obviously you can space these out, you know, there's, I'm not much of a designer myself. Um, I'm just kind of just putting them all in one place just to show you what they look like. Next up is the secret woods. You can fish out the wall basket. Now this took quite a lot of attempts, but I suppose it's all RNG at the end of the day. And you can get as many wall baskets as you want. Now unfortunately, as far as my knowledge goes, you can't actually use the wall basket outside. You can only have this inside your house, which, which is unfortunate because this would look really nice outside your house as well. So for the time being, I'm just gonna put it here over the bed. Add a bit of greenery to the bedroom. And that is the wall basket. So that looks really nice as well, the wall basket. So what I might do now is I might just go and get the, tra the trash can of Linus. And I might get the statue. I'll set them all up for you just so you know what they all look like in the one room. Uh, but that is basically all of the fishing secrets that you can fish up in this game. So there's actually a lot of secrets. Now there might be more. Uh, but as far as uh, my experience goes and as far as the Wikipedia goes, that's basically it. That's all the secrets that you can actually... Um, Fish, uh, fish up from the waters. So I have the Gorman statue that I collected from Ginger Island. I'm going to get the trash can back here now. Off I'm sure he won't mind. Um, I might actually just give Linus there some trash. He might appreciate it since, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> so maybe he'll, maybe he'll like this if I give it to him, you know? There you go, Linus. Why would you give this to me? Do you think I like junk just because I live in a tent? That's terrible. Ah, come on now. Come on. You rummage through all the trash cans. Unfortunately, you can't use the, you know, the decorative trash can is just decoration. You can't flip the lid off, lid off or anything like that to get a random item, you know. But it makes for a real cool aesthetic depending on what kind of a farm you were going for. You know, you can just have a trash can lying around the place. You know, you can put it outside somewhere. I'll put the squirrel figurine down there as well and the garment statue. So there you have it. That is basically all of the items you can fish up in the game. So I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll upload the next Stardew Valley video in the next day or two. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. I would really appreciate it. And as always, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.